you know, part of the reason I went into medicine, and I know I think a lot of people who go into medicine, you know, want to make a difference on a personal level, and they really want to ease people's suffering. I am Delphine Chen. I'm 35 years old. Um, I have a bachelor's from Harvard Radcliffe College in applied math and I uh, received my medical degree from Washington University in St. Louis. There's a huge opportunity for developing new imaging techniques that could help us better decide which types of chemotherapy regimens or radiation therapy regimens should be used to treat cancers. So the research that I'm focused on is um, using PET imaging with these new tracers that, um, if taken up by a cell, can tell us whether the cell is dying or not. They can be used to potentially assess whether a tumor has responded or not before a patient has to complete all of their cycles of chemotherapy. So for example, if they receive one cycle of chemotherapy and then they get an image in short, like a day or two after, um, with our tracer, then potentially we could tell them then whether that chemotherapy that whether that chemotherapy is likely to work or not. People don't survive cancers now just because um, just by chance, you know, and I thought if I could continue to contribute it to that body of knowledge that would be good. And then, you know, as it turned out, you know, my mom had breast cancer and she's like a 10 plus, it's been over 10 years and she's a survivor um, and I'm grateful for that. Even, you know, my brother was tell telling me in his particular lab, you know, one of their goals was to try to get a Damon Runyon fellow in their lab because they were so exclusive and, you know, difficult to get and very competitive, which I think says a lot about the quality of the science that is funded by the foundation. You know, I was personally was very impressed with the fact that they were willing to fund my application um, because, you know, the tracers might not work, but if they did work, they would add, you know, clearly a new tool that wasn't available before. And so I'm hoping that um, these tools that I'm helping to validate and develop um, will eventually lead to, um, you know, better information for both the patient and for their physicians to help them fight their cancers.